you kill us? Kill Mom? I wish I was never born! Not with a dad like you! I could. I tried so hard to show you love, but in the end, your heart is just a black hole that sucks all the light out of everything. Doesn't life mean anything to you? And your own children? God! I can't believe I ever loved you! You need to take a good long look at yourself, see what you really look like. What the hell's going on? I saw a fire in the distance, but I couldn't raise no one on the radio. Hey, hey, what are you doing? No! This is us, T. Us without you. The only way we can truly be happy. Goodbye forever, Carmen. So that's actually the uh, bad ending, like the proper evil ending. Luckily, I found a way of uh, cheating your karma so you can actually get the uh, bad ending and good ending without having to replay the game again. Um, I, yeah, that, oof. That ending's pretty rough. Um, you know, Talk is actually psychotic and goes home and kills his family. Yeah, that's really freaking dark. It makes... Um, I think it makes more sense than the neutral comical ending. Uh, see, it's the way my brain works, to me, that's, it's just funny. The way that... Um, not necessarily that he kills his wife. You know, that's awful. Um, especially through accidental means. Uh, just, yeah, I don't really like that. It just doesn't really fit. But I call it the comical ending because <laughs> then your son goes mad, drowns your brother for for the lols, I guess. I don't know, then yeets himself out of a window. Uh, yeah, that ending just... I don't like it, whatever. Um, but that, that bad ending, man, he just... He basically... Um, becomes like one of the other um, guys you know you got the three antagonists uh, he basically just becomes another one of those and goes on to continue to poison the island I suppose except uh, the next person that arrives is gonna have four um, savage evil spirits to deal with instead of three anyway by doing that we actually unlock the creature, the creature. Transform into a beast. He merely becomes intensely enraged. The meaning of my dream I leave for the reader to discern. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's quite well put, actually, to be fair. Yeah. Um so obviously that's just happening in Talk's mind. 
Although, you know, with the bad ending um, and all the evil spirits and weirdness that's happened to Carnate Island, does he finally succumb to the monster? Uh, and I guess mutate into that sort of thing. Who knows? It's kind of an interesting dynamic, a very interesting um, idea, actually. I, I'm liking these endings. I've got one more to go get. The, yeah, the, the comical ending was a bit weird, especially the way he attacks the boat guy at the end, knocks him out. But then I suppose he does that because there's a load of cops waiting for him. So he doesn't technically kill the guy, he just knocks them out and nicks the boat. Whereas in this one, he just like straight up kills the guy. Pretty savage. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave this part here. Uh, I am going to go and grab the good ending that I'm actually really interested to see, actually. So, meet you in a second. The man was wearing black clothes. He was like a shadow. I didn't see him, and then he was there. Oh, Daddy, I wish you could have been there. I know you would have kept us safe. had the worst luck, T. We didn't work out for so long. And when we got close, it all got taken away. You'd never hurt us. Not on purpose. No matter how angry you got at the world, you always loved me and the boys. Now's the time, T. You need to face down the anger you have inside. Remember, I'm right there with you. sends his regards. Back in Eastern, he warned you, but you didn't listen. He said to leave you alive, only you. Enjoy your new life. coming to pick up anybody else who's left. Hold on. You're that guy Tork, ain't you? I heard about you in the news. I got a friend at the DA's office who says the prosecutor on your case is being indicted. Says you probably get a new trial. Guess it's your lucky day, huh? Jesus. You look like you've really been through hell. Somebody's missing from this picture, T. I don't want us to ever be apart again. Love always, Carmen. And there we have it. The best ending. The good ending. And... Yeah, it's kind of a good ending. Um, it's my favourite ending, because... You see that Talk didn't actually murder his family, and he was actually quite the kind, you know, family guy. He had a raging temper, and he 
liked to slap people around and murder other people, but he always did right by his family. So, Vin Diesel would have approved. So, we did, uh, yeah, I actually really like that ending. It, what's... <sighs> It's kind of, it does seem a little bit silly that just some random guys come in and the colonel sends his regards. Um, yeah, odd, strange. I Whether that has something to do with the second game, I'm not sure. Whether it's ever really explained, I don't know. Um, something about back in Eastern, which I guess is another, uh, you know, prison that Talk uh, used to frequent. And it's kind of a shame that, uh, you know, things were going well and uh, his family had to pay the price due to some old, unfinished business. I like that ending. I also kind of like the evil ending. I just don't really like the comedy ending because it's just, it's just silly. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Anywho, we've got the creature. The creature. We've got family. In one of my other entries, I discuss Tork, the notorious inmate who seems at ease dispatching these creatures. I recall seeing in the sun a picture of the man's ex-wife and two boys, and I have drawn it here from memory. I remember they were a beautiful family, and it seems unbelievable that any man so blessed would have the audacity to kill them so savagely. But as we all know, beauty alone is often not enough. Hmm. Okay. It's kind of cool. Uh, I do think um, Talk's wife, her neck would probably break under the weight of all that hair, but, you know, what do I know, I guess? I only briefly saw this enormous creature a single time, near the docks. I cannot even begin to describe him, save for one thing. He seems to be quite literally connected to an inmate, the convicted killer talk. Incredible as it may sound, this creature appears to have a miniature version of talk attached to him by a long umbilicus. Beyond that, I can only say that I view him as the most evil of all the creatures, a pure manifestation of fury and hatred. Hmm, cool. Well, I'm guessing we got all of these then. So, we got all of Clem's stuff. And I like to believe Clem got out, because otherwise how would he have, uh, you know, filled all these things in? Especially like that, and, you know, that, and I guess talk. 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 Since the Cataclysm, I have seen the death of many inmates. But one seems to be an unstoppable survivor. I've seen him take out packs of marksmen and slayers without even breathing hard. Tork is an inmate of some ill repute, having been sentenced to die for the killing of his ex-wife and children. Of course, being convicted and being guilty are two different things. Perhaps he will save us all, but I feel certain he will at least save himself. Okay, almost missed that, but yeah, um, that's pretty cool stuff. I'm guessing we still have some stuff here that's locked, unfortunately, but you know, we did what we could. We got all the endings. Now, apparently, uh, there is one more thing we can do. If we go to new game, uh, it should load us into the game as usual, except we'll be starting at a different level. Waiting to die. So this level was originally going to be the first level, but it was cut. End of the line. Welcome to Carnate, inmates. Enjoy your stay. Any of you got jackrabbit blood, I will blow you wide open. <laughs> Hear me? Pretty sure they're not allowed to just blast the inmates for no reason. This is Cash. We're docked. Send the bus. Hurry you up. don't look happy to be here. Uh, 
can't believe I'm back in this motherfucking shit. Any of you get out of that. What I've been told is the worst place on earth. On your mm. grave, you dig? They disgust me. Don't strip your gear. Yeah, I know that That's guy. So if they weren't so Yo, bad, Raph. we wouldn't have to. What cut you kill this time? <laughs> Fuck off, Luke. Or your punk ass is next. Why was this cut? You see that bullshit? Fucking degenerate killed some kids. His own kids is what I heard. Fucking baby killer. Shit. Shit. The kind of whack job I want for a bunk man. Won't be around now, now. Long. The shitbag's joining the short timers on death row. Oh shit. He'll appeal and appeal and appeal. Cocksucker got eight years left. Eight <laughs> fucking travesty. I say we speed it up. Cut him down to size. Yeah. CEOs won't give a damn if we shave him. We're just saving him the trouble. I say. I'm in. Hell yeah. Let's do this shit. Hey? Looks like the shit's going down. Wait. We've got no way of. You ready for this? Look at those shits in there. We got. Yeah, how did they get all strapped up? Also, it's worth mentioning I've got no way of. Uh, quick. Let them kill each other. I have literally no way of. Oh! Apparently, I can defend myself. Oh, this is. This would have been a way better introduction to your power. He doesn't have any weapons! That would have been a way better introduction. Back off. I ain't got no beef with you. Do I have to kill these guys? I ain't done nothing to you, man. Well, I can't turn back. No, there we go. I still believe in you. Ooh. What the fuck just happened? Don't move, inmate, or we will shoot you. <laughs> Hey, Ernesto, get in there and get him under control. I was just Shit, defending myself. Not much we can do. Man's already going to death row. Worst place on earth. Oh, so that's all you get. Still, that's pretty cool. How many and then times have I done this, and I still hate it. I swear, Abbott's full enough already. And then, yeah. at least when you escort an inmate to death row, you know he's scheduled to get what he deserves. Ernesto, you can really be a jackass. You know that. But you hear what this one did? I don't want to know. Yeah, now it's no just the same as killed normal. Bloody pulp. Killed her. Yeah, that's cool. All right, whatever. Well, so I'm pretty happy with how complete we finished this game. Uh, we got all the endings. We even saw the bonus level that was cut. Um, yeah, not really sure why they cut that out. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, already in the game anyway, so interesting, but you know, whatever, at least they let you play it. Uh, kind of cool, I like the way you actually um, see everybody arriving on the island and, you know, stuff outside, because to be fair, um, as when this game starts off, unless um, it's written anywhere, you don't really know you're on an island, unless I've just forgotten and they do explain it. But um, I thought it took a little while before you even realised that. But um, that really does add to the gravity of how, you know, isolated the situation is. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up now. I enjoyed this game. I thought it was really good fun. Um, I don't think it was really like a horror game or anything like that. It was more of like a, a kind of just, you know, all-out action shooter uh, with a very slight horror lick of paint I suppose I'm not sure uh, macabre lick of paint I suppose is, is more adequate or more fitting um, it didn't really give me any horror vibes at all but I'm absolutely convinced if I had this back in the day I would have really enjoyed it at some point we will be looking at the sequel looking forward to the sequel I don't know anything about it uh, I guess you play as the same guy. I'm not really sure. We're going to find out. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.